Hey there, this is Tyler Horvath. Welcome back to this video series where we're going to be talking about WordPress. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up an about page on your WordPress website. So we have this WordPress website that we've been working on here throughout these YouTube videos. Um, and this one, I'm going to show you how you can easily create an about us page. Um, and we're using Visual Composer to build these pages. So let's go back into our WP admin area and we're gonna go to our pages tab. So this is where you can create any page that you want that's gonna be a static page. Um, you know, that's kind of the difference between pages and posts is posts are more like blog posts and articles and stuff like that. And your pages are gonna be, you know, your about us page, your contact us page, your homepage, etc. cetera. Um, so in this one, we're gonna show you how to create an about page. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create a contact us page and have uh, a form on it and everything so people can easily contact you um, online. So in this one, we're gonna create an about page. So click add new. And then of course, we're gonna name it about, about us. And we're gonna save that as a draft. And now we can build out our page in Visual Composer. So um, what I like to do with the about page is uh, first create a uh, row for the header. So this is gonna be the header uh, or the hero, some people call it, that um, has our H1 tag and a little bit of a description about what the page is. Uh, this is good for um, SEO as well as building trust with people um, who visit your website and want to read about your business. So let's make a custom heading and we're going to make it an H1. And we're just going to say about and then our company name. So about Zapiers. Um, now this is just a, um, a you know, just a, a domain that we bought it doesn't you know we're not doing anything with it um, so uh, you know remember that uh, it's kind of just to show you guys how to do this um, what we're gonna save that maybe make sure that was centered okay and then we're gonna add a small description and say Zapier's is the best place for Zapier integrations help and support and then we're gonna center that and this theme actually has this class already set up um, called lead. Uh, so we're gonna add that class here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make um, this text bigger. So let's publish it so we can check it out. So you can see our about Zapier's is our H1 and then we have our uh, text right here. So let's edit this a little bit more. I want this to be a little bit bigger um, I didn't have the H1 or H2 or H3 tags uh, set uh, size-wise, uh, so it's a little small. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change it to, let's try uh, 45 pixels. And then save. Not sure if I save that there. Forty-five pixels, save. And I'm also going to add more uh, spacing up at the top here, more padding at the top and more padding at the bottom. So let's go into this row, click edit this row, go to the design options, and then we're gonna say, let's do 50 pixels on the top and bottom. Let's click save. Okay, perfect. So now our H1's bigger, we have more space here, and this is kind of our little heading. Now if you wanted to add you know, a background color to that, um, you could do that in here by going to the design options and changing the background color here to whatever uh, color you like. You can even pick um, the colors that um, out of this color picker here if you want to do it like that. Um, so let's click save and we're done with our little header area. So now let's build um, a next section here that's going to be you know a longer about us paragraph with maybe an image on the right. So let's click create a row and then we're going to create another row inside that so that we can um, put in one of these here this little um, two column um, layout here and then we're going to add in our image and let's just add this one because we have it in here we're going to click full and save and now we can add our about text um, in more detail now I'm not gonna write anything out here because you know this is just a fake company a fake website um, but um, you know you're gonna write a little bit more about your company 
and then we're going to click save and let's add a little bit of up and bottom padding on that so that it's a little bit spaced out okay so now we can come back reload a page and you can see here we have um, our layout looking pretty good we have our text on the left with the image on the right um, and you know that is basically how you would lay out your about us page it's pretty simple um, when you're using Visual Composer, it's really easy to um, build out these pages. Now, if you wanted to change things around, it's really easy with this drag and drop builder. Um, you know, you can switch these things like that if you want the image to be on the left. And then we can click update. And now we can see that the image is on the left. So let's say that you wanted to, um, you wanted these to be horizontally aligned. You can see here that they're both aligned at the top, but we want this to be aligned in the middle. So let's go back here and let's click edit on this row. And then we're going to say equal height, check that as yes, and then we want the content position to be the middle so that it's aligned in the middle. So let's go back, click reload, and then boom, you can see that it is in the, the middle here. Uh, so let's see what else we can do using this Visual Composer because they have a lot of other um, great pieces of um, you know content and structure that you can add um, to your page. So. Let's say that um, on your About Us page, you wanted to put um, some of your blog posts, some of your recent blog posts that you've just published. So that's really easy to do with PostGrid. Um, so let's choose PostGrid. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna pull um, you know, posts or pages or whatever you choose here. You can even do custom queries if you wanna pull specific posts. Um, but we're just gonna pull all the posts that we can. Um, and we're gonna say, let's pull four. Um, now we don't have any blog posts here, so it's probably not going to pull anything, but this will pull uh, the four most recent blog posts, and then we're going to make it four um, elements per row, so there'll be four blog posts per row, and then let's set a uh, 15 pixel uh, gap in between them. Okay, so we can save that now, and we're going to click update. Now this is just going to be the default post grid. Um, that looks like this. So we have our hello world, world post here. Uh, there's no featured image, so that's not showing up, but this is the general layout. So it would be four of these in a row if we had those other blog posts in there. Um, so you can actually change the uh, output of this post grid here by going to item design. There's a number of um, pre-made examples that they already have, or if you're wanting to create your own, um, you can click here or you can go to um, grid builder and that will take you here where you can build um, your own grid so this is what each single um, you know blog post or whatever the element is that pulls back will look like so you know if you wanted to add uh, the post image and then save and then you wanted the post title under that and then after that you want a small excerpt then that will be laid out like that instead of you know having the button etc and you can basically make your own custom um, grid using this and then you just come back here and go here and then you'll see your custom made grid in this um, this drop down here so that is how you set up post grids it's really powerful to do um, you know if you want to show a few blog posts on a page or um, you know maybe you want to add this on your home page so that it links to your blog pages your blog posts um, that can really help with internal linking so that is basically how you build an about page for WordPress uh, using Visual Composer. If you have any questions at all, please comment below and be sure to check out and follow uh, my channel because I'm always posting great content about WordPress and tutorials and guides and how to um, better optimize WordPress sites. So thanks and I'll see you next time.